Here's the most common version of the 18th century Irish folktale. A grumpy bastard of a blacksmith by the name of Stingy Jack invites the devil for a drink but refuses to pay, hence the stingy descriptor. He convinces the devil to shapeshift into a coin to cover the tab, but when the devil obliges, Jack sticks the coin in his pocket. And much to the devil's dismay, there is a silver cross in that pocket, preventing him from returning to his original form. A deal is struck. Jack sets the devil free and, in return, the devil agrees A to bar Jack from entering hell when he dies and B to leave Jack alone for a year. A quick aside, this seems like a bad deal, and it is a bad deal because guess what? A year later, the devil comes back to mess with Jack. Only Jack is ready for him. He convinces the devil to climb a tree so he might enjoy a delicious piece of fruit. Once the devil is up in the tree, Jack carves a cross into the trunk. The devil can't come down. Another bad deal is struck, although this one does have the advantage of being slightly less bad than the previous deal. Jack frees the devil in exchange for 10 years of peace. Jack dies. Don't be sad, he was an asshole. The devil, true to